SpaceX's Starship represents a bold leap toward making space travel as routine as air travel. With the audacious goal of creating a fully reusable rocket capable of carrying humans to Mars and beyond. The vision is nothing short of revolutionary. A spacecraft that can launch, land, and fly again with minimal refurbishment, slashing the astronomical costs of space exploration. However, the road to this future is paved with complex engineering challenges, as evidenced by Starship's early test flights. Despite explosions and setbacks, SpaceX's iterative approach rooted in learning from failure positions, Starship as a potential game-changer, even as critics raise concerns about its current fragility and the causes of its failures. The core challenge of reusability lies in ensuring every component of the rocket, from the super-heavy booster to the Starship upper stage, can return safely to Earth for reuse. Unlike traditional rockets, which burn up or crash after a single use, Starship's booster must reignite its engines mid-flight and land precisely. Often caught by the launch tower's chopsticks, SpaceX tackles this with a clever design. The Super Heavy booster uses numerous smaller Raptor engines instead of a few large ones, providing redundancy. If one or two engines fail, the mission can still succeed, a concept proven by the Falcon 9 success. This redundancy coupled with grid fins for aerodynamic control, allows the booster to return as a lightweight, nearly empty tube, requiring minimal thrust for landing. Only three central engines, capable of precise gimballing, are used in the final descent, showcasing SpaceX's engineering prowess. Yet, the path to reusability is fraught with difficulties. Starship's early flights, particularly flights 7, 8, and 9 in 2023 and beyond, highlighted these challenges. Flight 7 exploded 11 minutes after liftoff, Flight 8 spun out of control, and Flight 9 disintegrated due to a fuel leak during re-entry. These failures have sparked debate about the super-heavy platform's viability. Some critics argue that SpaceX's efforts to make Starship lighter have resulted in fragility where even minor vibrations from a partial payload could cause catastrophic failure. For instance, Flight 8's reduction of dummy satellites from 10 to 4 aimed to stabilize the rocket, but issues persisted. SpaceX later pointed to a hardware problem in a Raptor engine as the likely culprit, possibly due to overheating or a fuel leak when engines are pushed beyond their limits. This speculation, while plausible, lacks definitive evidence fueling controversy among analysts who question whether SpaceX is oversimplifying complex issues. Despite these setbacks, SpaceX's history offers reason for optimism. The company's first rocket, Falcon 1, exploded just 33 seconds after launch, yet perseverance led to hundreds of successful low-cost Falcon 9 launches. This resilience underscores SpaceX's iterative philosophy. Each failure provides data to refine the design. The Raptor engine's complex startup sequence, involving dual turbopumps for liquid methane and oxygen, exemplifies the precision required. A misstep in timing can lead to a stoichiometric mixture, overheating the engine, a problem seen in occasional engine losses during boost-back burns. Yet, the system's redundancy has allowed successful booster catches, proving the concept's potential. While critics debate whether Starship's lightweight design compromises reliability, SpaceX's track record suggests these challenges are stepping stones to success. The question remains, can SpaceX balance weight, durability, and performance to achieve full reusability? SpaceX's Starship is not just a rocket. It's a testament to iterative innovation, building on lessons from past spacecraft while pushing the boundaries of reusability. Central to this effort is the development of a robust heat shield and a powerful propulsion system, both critical for surviving the fiery re-entry into Earth's atmosphere and enabling rapid reuse. By drawing inspiration from the Space Shuttle's design, improving on its flaws, and introducing the advanced Raptor 3 engine, SpaceX is redefining what's possible in spaceflight. However, the choice to build Starship from stainless steel has sparked debate. 
with some questioning whether it compromises performance for cost savings, even as optimism grows around new engineering solutions. One of Starship's standout innovations is its heat shield, designed to protect the vehicle from temperatures soaring into the thousands of degrees during re-entry, while remaining reusable, a feat the space shuttle never fully achieved. The shuttle's heat shield, though a marvel of its time, relied on custom-made ceramic tiles that often cracked or fell off, requiring months of refurbishment. SpaceX learned from this, equipping Starship with approximately 18,500 standardized hexagonal tiles that interlock for easier production and replacement. These tiles made of materials like silica, aluminum borosilicate, and aluminum oxide resemble the shuttle's later AETB tiles with TUFI coating, designed for durability and water resistance. The black coating blocks infrared heat, while the fibrous structure withstands extreme temperatures, glowing blue from borosilicate during re-entry, a visual testament to their resilience. Unlike the shuttle's eight to nine month turnaround, Starship's standardized tiles aim to slash refurbishment time, enabling rapid reusability. However, the tile's fragility remains a challenge. Described by Elon Musk as akin to dinner plates or coffee cups, these ceramic tiles must endure intense vibrations and thermal stress, expanding and contracting with temperature changes. The tank's cryogenic fuel causes a 10 to 20% shift in tile spacing, and body flex during flight adds further strain. To mitigate risks, SpaceX added a backup ablative heat shield in Starship's fifth test flight, used in Block 2, which burns away to protect the vehicle if tiles fail. This single-use layer, applied to key areas like the nose cone and fuel tanks, underscores the complexity of achieving a fully reusable heat shield, an unsolved engineering puzzle that SpaceX tackles with in-house tile production for precision and quality control. The choice of stainless steel for Starship structure is another point of innovation and controversy. Stainless steel is durable and cost-effective, ideal for frequent launches and early testing, where vehicles may be discarded. However, its weight Starship's upper stage is over 20 times heavier than Falcon 9's reduces payload capacity. Critics argue that lighter materials like carbon fiber could enhance performance especially as Starship matures toward long-term reusability. Supporters counter that stainless steel's robustness suits the iterative testing phase, and switching materials later could balance cost and efficiency. This debate highlights the trade-off SpaceX navigates, durability versus weight, cost versus performance. Amid these challenges, the Raptor 3 engine offers a beacon of hope. With 280 tons of thrust, a 51% increase over Raptor 1 and 21% over Raptor 2, and a lighter weight of 1,525 kilograms. Raptor 3 boosts efficiency with a specific impulse of 350 seconds. Its design, lacking a base heat shield, reduces the risk of dangerous fuel leaks by allowing them to burn off harmlessly in flight. This addresses issues seen in Flight 8 where a suspected Raptor engine failure, possibly from overheating or a leak, caused the rocket to spin out of control. While some question whether SpaceX's lightweight designs push engines beyond their limits, Raptor 3's advancements suggest a path to a more robust Starship, capable of carrying meaningful payloads without sacrificing durability. By learning from the past and innovating for the future, SpaceX is steadily refining Starship's design to meet its ambitious goals. SpaceX's Starship is more than a rocket. It's a stepping stone to humanity's interplanetary future, with Mars as its ultimate destination. The vision of colonizing the Red Planet drives SpaceX to push the boundaries of reusable rocket technology, aiming to make space travel affordable and sustainable. Yet, Mars presents unique challenges, particularly its thinner, carbon dioxide-rich atmosphere, which some argue creates harsher re-entry conditions than Earth's. The debate over advanced thermal protection systems like transpiration, cooling further complicates Starship's path forward. Despite these hurdles, SpaceX's innovative spirit, vivid analogies, 
and relentless pursuit of improvement fuel optimism that Starship could redefine space exploration, turning science fiction into reality. Mars' atmosphere, composed mostly of CO2, poses a surprising challenge during re-entry. As Elon Musk has noted, superheated CO2 breaks down into plasma, releasing free oxygen that's two to three times more reactive than Earth's 20% oxygen atmosphere. This reactive oxygen aggressively attacks the heat shield, potentially burning through it. Some experts question whether Mars' thinner atmosphere truly demands more from Starship's thermal protection than Earth's denser one, as the lower density might reduce frictional heating. However, the chemical reactivity of Mars' atmosphere introduces complexities that require a robust heat shield, whether for Earth or Mars missions. Starship's current ceramic tiles, likened to coffee cups by Musk for their fragility, face immense stress from thermal expansion and vibration. These tiles, made of silica and aluminum borosilicate, glow blue during re-entry due to borosilicate's heat resistance, but their brittleness necessitates ongoing improvements to achieve full reusability. To address these challenges, SpaceX has explored transpiration cooling, an innovative concept where liquid methane flows through tiny pores in a metal heat shield, creating a protective gas layer to dissipate heat akin to a spacecraft sweating to stay cool. This system could enable faster reuse by eliminating the need for extensive tile refurbishment, but it's not without controversy. The added weight of coolant tanks, pipes, and control systems increases complexity and mass, potentially reducing payload capacity. Elon Musk has expressed skepticism about its practicality for Starship, citing these trade-offs. Critics argue that dismissing transpiration cooling prematurely overlooks its potential for Mars' harsh conditions, while supporters of the current ceramic tile approach emphasize their proven effectiveness, bolstered by a backup ablative layer that burns away to protect the vehicle if tiles fail. The debate underscores the delicate balance between innovation and reliability in Starship's design. Despite these challenges, SpaceX's track record inspires confidence. The company's ability to turn failures into breakthroughs, as seen with Falcon 9's reusable first stage, suggests Starship is on a similar trajectory. The Raptor 3 engine, with its 280-ton thrust and lighter 1,525 kg design, addresses earlier performance issues, such as those speculated in Flight 8's failure where a fuel leak or overheating likely caused the rocket to spin out of control. By allowing leaks to burn off harmlessly, Raptor 3 enhances safety and efficiency, paving the way for Starship to carry meaningful payloads to orbit and beyond. The vision of landing on Mars, deploying habitats, and returning to Earth hinges on these advancements, with each test flight bringing SpaceX closer to that goal. Starship's journey is fraught with risks, from fragile tiles to the stainless steel versus carbon fiber debate, but SpaceX thrives on solving the unsolvable. The company's in-house production of heat shield tiles ensures precision, while explorations into alternative materials and cooling systems reflect a willingness to adapt. As Starship evolves, it carries the potential to make humanity multiplanetary, transforming Mars from a distant dream into a reachable destination. One successful flight could bridge the gap between today's challenges and tomorrow's triumphs, proving that SpaceX's bold vision is within grasp.